Yes, my dear friends. Let's start today's class. I hope uh, now. Uh, so, uh, friends, check out what you can see. I'm sharing the content. So let's start Google. Yeah. So, friends, can you uh, see the screen? Can you see it? Can you see one note screen? Can you see one note screen? Yes. Okay. Uh, suddenly, if it is click, automatically it will get share, share. So that's why my dear friends. Okay. Let's go. Now. So uh, for few for few few minutes, I'll uh, make the video visible. There uh, thereafter, I will off. So shall I hide the video? Stop showing myself uh, view video. Someone it is there. Okay, I have to go and off. So friends, I'm trying to mute the camera setting. Okay, uh, let's go for the discussion, my dear friends. Now, uh, let's start with uh, yeah. So open your theory note. Uh, bank reconciliation statement. Bank BRS bank reconciliation statement. Yeah. Now to start with, my dear friends. Bank reconciliation statement. Yeah. So now, uh, so before we come for our discussion, now anyone can you tell me what you mean by bank reconciliation statement? Bank reconciliation statement. So, anyone, what do you meant by bank reconciliation statement? So, wait, wait. Something is going on. Yeah. Uh, I have stopped sharing my defense just in order to view it. Uh, in order to first let us have the. Uh, yes, Aditya. Yes, Aditya, can you speak? What do you mean by. Hello, sir. Yeah. Can you speak? Sir, uh, yes, sir, I can. Yes. What do you mean uh, by BRS? Sir, bank reconciliation statement is a statement which is prepared by the account holder, sir. Mm -hmm. on a particular date mm -hmm. because uh, uh, bank balance as per cash book mm -hmm. and our bank account which is there in bank sir mm -hmm. there there are some differences which are which we 
uh, gets uh, due to timings errors and all sir mm. to reconcile that we, we will prepare brs sir okay okay so any other student any other student please if you uh, know the answer please raise your hand i will allow i will allow to speak that yes any other students yeah yes preksha you can speak yeah preksha you are on line yes yes so it's a statement which uh, reconciles the bank balance as per the passbook and the cash book which might be arising due to certain differences mm -hmm. can you uh, can you say yes. what are what are type uh, what type of differences that may arise uh sir uh say for example we have deposited a check mm -hmm. uh so it show that that would be shown in the uh, cash book but mm -hmm. it would not be yet credited in the passbook as mm -hmm. a result there would be a difference between the two okay okay yes yeah uh, friends those who know the answer please raise your hand so that it is easy to allow you to speak yeah in a group uh, uh, anita you have said that uh, sir may i yes uh, you raise your hand uh, anita i will allow you to speak yes uh, anita can you speak hello hello sir yeah. can you hear me yes 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 sir sir actually uh, bank reconciliation statement is prepared mm -hmm. in uh, in order to uh, reconcile the difference mm -hmm. between the bank balance as per uh, passbook and the balance as per cash book okay uh, actually uh, there should be no difference between balance as per cash, cash book and balance as per pass book mm -hmm. but uh, uh, there arises differences due to certain reasons like when we deposit uh, check check is deposited in the bank or when checks are issued or uh, when uh, any uh, customer is depositing directly mm -hmm. the check in our account or when bank pays uh, bank uh, charges are paid or like uh, uh, when check is dishonored mm -hmm. and or if we give any uh, ecs like standing instructions to the bank that uh, certain amount should be deducted so we don't come to know about that uh, uh, we come to know about it later okay. so uh, our, but there is a difference between the two balances okay. so in order to keep in track okay. Okay. in order to keep uh, the balances concise we make it okay okay thank you uh, yeah so especially my dear friends uh, this is especially the bank reconciliation statement it, it is a statement prepared by the account holder or the preparer those who are yeah uh, account holder in order to explain the reasons let for the difference between the balance as per cash book and the pass book usually these balances are timing difference usually these balances are of timing difference yeah uh, yes who is online okay uh start writing start writing start writing bank reconciliation statement bank reconciliation statement Uh, uh, friends, I don't think so. Which one has been shared to you? Can you can you hear the? Uh, Friends, can you uh, can you see the uh, can you see the one note one note uh, screen? No. Uh, 
now my dear friends now can you see yes okay let's start so now it is uh, let's go for bank reconciliation statement write down reconciliation statement it is a statement it is a statement prepared by prepared by accountant here it's nothing but account holder holder to explain to explain the reasons led for the difference between between balance as per cash book cash book bank column and balance as per bank passbook passbook that is statement to to management or auditor management or auditor next line usually this are timing difference usually this are timing differences usually these are timing differences usually these are timing differences yeah right on debit balance debit balance as per as per cash book as per cash book cash book and and credit balance credit balance as per passbook passbook is a positive balance and and credit balance credit balance as per cash book as per cash book and debit balance as per as per pass book is a negative balance negative balance so same thing let's uh, let us pictureize in a uh, chart so positive balance positive balance or favor or favorable balance next is negative balance or unfavorable unfavorable so this is as per cash book
balance as per cash book balance as per passbook yeah so positive balance means it should be debit balance positive balance means it is plus positive balance means it is plus balance this is negative balance debit this is credit balance negative balance means here it should be credit balance here it should be debit balance debit balance yeah so if you would have taken so just have the discussion now here so what is a bank reconciliation statement it is a statement prepared by the account holder or accountant to explain the reasons led for the difference between balance as per cash book bank column and balance as per uh, bank passbook bank passbook or bank statement to the management or auditor so because my dear friends at the end of the day look out as per book that is as per your books that is from your books only you will prepare uh, trial balance or whatever it might be so just for one minute i will deviate the topic now just imagine so from your uh, journal from your journal you will uh, post this to ledger ledger or uh, subsidiary book so from subsidiary books it will go to uh, ledger so anyway from ledger it will go to trial balance and from trial balance only i am going to prepare financial statements got it now in a financial statement suppose in a balance sheet if you are saying uh, cash balance cash balance is that means as per trial balance trial balance for that is a from trial balance you would have taken cash balance for example 50 rupees this 50 rupees is nothing but it's a trial balance balance so that a trial balance how you would have taken that balances it is from ledger account that ledger account balance how you would have taken a summary of all the transactions as per book Correct. So therefore, in a cash book or in a balance sheet, you have to take this balance. This is as per books only. As per books only. You have to take as per books only. Yeah. Now, but for this, now, uh, finally, we will verify this, whether the cash balance as per books is correct or not. So when the audit comes, usually we have to give the, uh, we have to give the, evidence for the each transaction so now the for that transaction my difference for cash how much is the uh, cash balance means here i am talking about cash balance as per bank let us write it as bank yeah so bank balance 50 this is as per cash book as per cash book now as per cash book 50 rupees is saying now if i uh, for this evidence if i ask i have to give the bank statement as an evidence but in a bank statement it is there for example 70 or somewhat some different amount is there as per passbook as per bank passbook passbook 70 is there now here 50 rupees you are showing but here 70 rupees bank statement is saying which one is correct which one is correct but it's a damn show i have to take as per books only i have to prepare because Based on books, I am preparing financial statement. Therefore, as per books only, I suppose to prepare, uh, as per books, what balance is there, but only I have to incorporate in my financial statement. But for that evidence, if I ask, that evidence is bank statement, but in a bank statement, it is a difference. Yeah. Now, auditor or whomsoever, management whomsoever, they will ask why the difference. Yeah. In a passbook, it is 70 rupees, but you are saying as per books is 50. Why? That means is it fraud because cash matters no so that's why they may ask so for that accountant or the preparer the preparer he has to explain the reason so why the difference is why the difference usually it might be because of timing error so that if we take care automatically this will be get over therefore now the difference between these two balances what the 20 rupees is there why that 20 rupees is difference so that we have to identify and we have to explain correct so why this 20 rupees difference came so for that one statement statement of explanation what we supposed to prepare is called as bank reconciliation statement so this is a timing difference either i have to add or deduct somewhat we have to do it got it next next one my difference important uh, note important note here, write down, come to your uh, main. 
write down here note important note important note 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 yeah so cash flow statement cash flow statement can be prepared in two methods two methods ye k balance as per cash book b uh, methods uh, add one more word methods starts from starting from balance as per cash book second one is balance as per pass book balance as per pass book balance as per pass book now here only important note you supposed to write important note note all adjustments all adjustments in brs to be done only in the only in the book which is which is which is which is in uh, only in the book uh, which which is started started so that is balance as per balance as per cash book is starting is starting means all adjustments has to be done in cash book only cash book only only yeah so keep destination as constant constant means fixed destination keep it destination as a constant all adjustment has to be done in a starting book only all adjustments has to be done in starting point only yeah uh friends is my voice is clear friends check out the voice is my voice is audible yeah uh Alina, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I can hear. Uh, my voice is clear. Yes, sir, it's clear. So, why Kiran is saying so she is not audible? Don't know. Okay. Uh, yes, Kiran, check out, ma. So, I hope my voice is clear. So for others, my dear friends, is my voice is clear? Okay. Uh, are you responding in a group here? Yeah, anyone? I have asked Alina at least in a conversation. She said it's okay, it's clear. So others in a group. Sir, can you start us? Okay. Thank you. Okay, thank you. Oh, Sneha, madam, I'm going to 
Okay, fine. Uh, let's continue, my dear friends. Now, just imagine. Let me deviate the concept uh, uh, just for a minute. Now, my dear friend, imagine. Suppose here, if you are in uh, just a deviation, my dear friends, no need to take this example. So, just I am deviating the concept here. So, now just imagine if uh, this is India. Yeah, so like this if it is gone and imagine here if it is a Delhi, here if it is a Delhi, yeah, so Delhi, this is your destination. So now from here, suppose you are supposed to start from Karnataka, you are supposed to start, this is a start, correct? Huh? So now you have to reach to Delhi, this is our, this is the uh, content, this you have to reach the Delhi, that means either this is what your destination. This is what your destination. So that is whatever be the reason you have to reach the Delhi. Correct? Either look out. So direct from here to direct you go. This is one route. Or like this you start here. Go uh, in a second way. You go in this route. So full this and all. Then you reach Delhi. Correct? Or other way. So direct from Mumbai. Wala. So from here. So like this go Pakistan this and all you reach. Correct? Or other way around. Since you don't know how to start, how to go like this. Toin, 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 toin. Somehow reach. Correct? Like this, any angle you can reach, but destination is fixed or not. Destination is fixed. Correct? Like this, my dear friend, here in a cash book, in a cash book, uh, sorry, in a BRS, my dear friends, your starting point, suppose if you start from cash book, Correct? Huh? That means in all the case you have to adjust, you have to reach the destination is a passbook. Got it? If you start cash book, your destination is what? Your destination balance as per cash book. That means your destination is destination is uh, balance as per as per passbook. So if it is your uh, balance as per passbook is your starting point means your destination is your destination is balance as per balance as per cash book correct huh? so that means where in which book you start only in that book you can adjust that means plus or minus you have to do it in that that book itself because your destination is uh, the other book where we can't adjust got it so therefore keep in mind if you start in a cash book destination is a pass book so therefore in order to reach pass book balance you have to do all your fluctuations Correct? So that means you have to explain this is what passbook balance. That means in which book you are starting, in that only you can uh, plus or minus you have to do with. So therefore, all adjustments you have to done in the books in which you started. Only in a starting book you have to uh, do it. So usually uh, they will give cash book balance and you have to reach passbook, but it depends on the it depends on the uh, case. It depends on the case. Got it? So therefore. All adjustments you have to do within a uh, bank passbook only. Sorry, uh, in a starting book only. Got it? So now uh, that's all uh, the notes, my dear friends. That's all the notes. That's all the notes. Now, uh, so I hope uh, this is the notes required. So let's go to the uh, explain. Uh, let's go to the problems. So I hope you have my notes. So in that already BRS everything complete material I have already given. So therefore let us go for the problems. Let's go for the problems. So I hope these things uh, in a theory we already discussed, BRS, <coughs> BRS. So friends, I hope you have uh, my book. I hope you have my book. Yes. 
So now bank reconstruction statement is, approved, is uh, prepared to reconcile the difference between cash balance as per uh, cash book and bank balance as per passbook. Importance of BRS, it's a tool for internal control. So therefore it is, well, that is an accountant or for the purpose of management for to evaluate the balances we prepare. So therefore it's a tool for internal control. It is one of the internal document. It helps to detect the frauds and uh, frauds and errors in a cash book and a passbook level. Passbook level. Uh, any undue delay in clearance of checks are shown by BRS. So if any uh, uncleared uh, uh, checks are there, that we can deduct. It uh, discourages the cashier and employee to engage in fraud, obviously. So because when we when we have the uh, reconciliation statement as per bank and cash, uh, then automatically we can deduct that uh, if any frauds occurred, therefore. It helps in finding uh, out actual bank balance, obviously. So because what are the timing errors are there, so that we can bring to the notice. So therefore, what is the bank balance actually, so that we can uh, easily clear it. Uh, then. Uh, Now, timing difference, these are the reasons are, number one, causes for uh, disagreement, disagreement between cash book, cash book and uh, passbook. Number one are uh, timing differences, this is what major. Second one is errors of cash book committed by accountant or errors of passbook committed by bank. These are the three cases. These are the three cases. So one is temporary, uh, timing differences are temporary. Uh, this uh, errors are committed by accountant, these are, this also timing, but uh, this is not due to uh, unknown. Got it? So it is a errors from accountant side or by mistake bank has been, uh, by mistake bank has credited that or committed that error. So when it comes to no automatically they will reverse it. So therefore usually these are all like timing error. <laughs> so these are the three types of errors which uh, will be uh, rectified by BRS. So preparation of adjusted cash book so that I need to explain. Preparation of adjusted cash book what that I need to explain. So then uh, overdraft as per bank passbook, that negative balance, what we call it as overdraft. This is what minus balance. So overdraft, overdraft as per cash book means it is a credit balance as per passbook. Overdraft as per passbook means it's a debit balance. So now uh, cash book, if it's a receipt column and the payment column debit side, if it is there, so that uh, just a receipt, which one we are going to reconcile. So that's what just we are uh, bringing to notice here. So receipt and payment, so just uh, exercise a problem. So here what is adjusted cash book that alone I need to explain so that I will uh, explain uh, to you, that I will explain to you. Yeah, adjusted cash book means my dear friends, all cash book level errors, that means uh, timing differences what we have. Timing differences uh, are, are errors affecting cash book. These are two things we will, we will consider. Committed errors committed by accountant as well as if any timing differences that is which affects cash book. Yeah, so this thing I will rectify. So only bankers error I will not rectify because that uh, will be there in a bank statement that I can't adjust in my book. So that is not my error. So therefore only this two if I rectify those what we call it as adjusted cash book. So let us read that. In adjusted cash book, all the cash book errors are rectified. All the cash book errors are rectified. Timing differences and passbook errors are not uh, considered in adjusted cash book. So timing difference that is uh, uh, checks deposited but not uh, not collected. This and all is like timing difference. Yeah, those things and all will not be because that is actually when it is collected then only I can recognize. So therefore those and all will not be corrected. Suppose if interest interest is paid in a bank. So uh, for example here uh, timing difference what I have taken in a, during the month of April. So bank charges has been deducted. Yeah, but you come to know after the receipt of bank statement, you come to know that there is an interest charges. So that means it is a already transaction is occurred. Only thing you don't know that is the timing error, but it is not like a uh, check not cleared, not paid out. Transaction is already occurred. Therefore, interest or uh, charges, this and all, if it is already deducted, transaction is already occurred since we don't know it is an error. That means it is error of omission. We have omitted. That's a meaning. So therefore, we have to uh, record that. We have to record that. So such a way, so when we prepare adjusted cash book, we will uh, uh, get to know. The uh, object of adjusted cash book to calculate the correct bank balance if reconciliation is done at the end of financial year. The cash book must be adjusted. Cash book must be adjusted. Note if BRS is prepared after adjusted cash book, then in BRS, uh, cash book errors are not considered because cash book errors are not considered. Please keep in mind because it will be already recorded in a 
passbook sorry uh, in adjusted cash book cash book is already rectified already rectified so that how to be uh, in uh, one or two problems later i will bring to your notice it will be recorded at the cash book in the case in the, in that case only timing difference and uh, passbook errors are considered in a brs so because cash book what are the errors are there that we will uh, first reconcile thereafter rectified cash book balance we will take for the purpose of brs and that will be with the help of timing difference and uh, banker error so that difference is what will be there that will be taken care in a brs that will be taken care in a brs so that's all uh, for ad for adjusted cash book let us take the note then let us come back to the uh, come back to the uh, theory so come back so one more uh, one more point adjusted cash book adjusted cash book in your theory note write down adjusted cash book adjusted cash book yeah right on right on usually 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 balance as per cash book bank column bank column will be directly directly taken for bank reconciliation statement statement as either as either either starting or destination starting or destination balance full stop full stop but 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 in a in a adjusted adjusted cash book basis in adjusted cash book basis the errors errors affecting cash book cash book will be rectified rectified first and such rectified balance rectified 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 such rectified balance as per cash book cash book will be considered considered in brs for further reconciliation between further reconciliation of further reconciliation of transactions or errors between bank 
बैंक एंड कैश बुक बैंक एंड कैश बुक सो इफ आई हैव एंड स्टार्टेड इफ आई हैव दैट इज इफ आई जस्ट एड कैश बुक इज नॉट प्रिपेयर्ड मींस माय डिफरेंस ऑल द एरर्स all whatever occurred in it, the difference whatever the transactions occurred everything will come in only uh, everything will come only in the brs directly plus or minus we will do it suppose if uh, i have started if i if i just cash book is prepared then what happened all errors which are affecting to cash book will be rectified first in a cash book so that rectified cash book will be taken to uh, that balance will be taken for the brs as like balance as per cash book or whatever it might be either it's a, if it is a starting is balance as per as per pass book uh, destination is balance as per cash book should be there correct huh? so that cash book balance is rectified balance rectified cash book after adjustment what balance is there that balance will be taken like that if it is opening balance if you are starting from cash book that balance is rectified balance we will take in case of adjusted cash book method otherwise whatever balance is there you were as per book that balance itself directly we will take that balance itself directly we will take so this is what the adjusted balance cash book so that means if it is errors affecting to cash book level uh, it will be rectified in a adjusted cash book thereafter that adjusted balance only will be taken for the purpose of reconciliation yeah so uh, only the timing errors between uh, uh, bank and cash book will be taken care in the brs in case of adjusted cash book otherwise all everything will be taken care in a brs yeah if you are clear with this uh, concept my dear friends let us go for uh, problem are you clear with the concept yes yeah so thanks for your response aditya so now let us go for the discussion of uh, problem yeah let's start with the problem problem number 1 So come to your uh, notes. Problem number one. 